Coach Fran here, and today we'll be talking about iron deficiencies. Now, iron is the most common micronutrient deficiency in the entire world, even in America, and more specifically with women. Now, symptoms of iron deficiency range from everything from fatigue, dizziness, and lightheadedness to tiredness, headaches, shortness of breath, and has serious implications with performance, especially in everyday training. Now, this is because it plays a number of different bottle, vital bodily roles, such as forming hemoglobin, producing anaerobic energy, making up hundreds of different proteins and enzymes, and even playing an important role in cellular energy and metabolism. The recommended daily amount for women between the ages of 16 and 50 is 18 milligrams. Now, this may not sound like a lot, but it is a hefty amount to hit on a daily basis, especially when you compare it to the recommended daily amount of men sitting only at 8 milligrams. This is over two times as much they have to hit, and on average, they actually uh, take in much less calories. So because of this, a lot more of their food has to be made up of iron-dense iron foods, and they have to pay closer attention to it. And it's also why this population of people have the highest frequency of being deficient in iron and experiencing these symptoms. Now, women over the age of 51 are also at 8 milligrams, and the reason that women 16 to 50 are at 18 is because of the menstrual cycle. Now, looking at heme versus non-heme, this is a very important subject to get into. Now, more recently, I've had an experience with a client where they thought they were killing it in iron. They were getting 18 milligrams plus, and they have a really good diet. But the issue was most of what they were getting was coming from non-heme sources. Now, heme is coming from animal sources. Non-heme is coming from plant sources. And the big reason why we have to pay attention to this is because non-heme, uh, well, sorry, heme has two to three times the bioavailability of non-heme, of plant sources. And on top of that, on average, if you look at a few higher uh, iron density uh, foods for heme, the heme side, the animal side, ground beef at 7.4, oyster at 6.1, uh, pork liver at 15.2, that has a ton, and if we look at the plant sources, edamame is at 2.3, spinach 2.7, black beans at 5, so not only does non-heme have not even half the bioavailability of the animal sources, but also it's on average less iron dense, so if you're somebody that's vegan or vegetarian or just has a lot of their iron coming from uh, plant sources, you really need to pay attention to this and consider the factor that uh, non heme or plant source is going to be far less bioavailable and your body is going to not be able to absorb nearly as much as you actually take in. So your goals have to be very high and you have to pay attention to it, especially as an athlete, because experiencing symptoms like this is detrimental to performance. And trust me, you will feel it. Now, I think that about covers it for this topic. That's Brandon Morgan signing up.